Okay. We're back. Just a opening stop for um, low the volume. Sorry about this. Super, super unruly. So, uh, first time I've actually ever got to this point in the game and not got. Oh shit, it's the sewer section. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here for like two hours or however long I can it takes as, and try and get through it as fast as possible. So this is the first time, oh, the unprofessionalism, there we go. So this is the first time I've ever picked up this game and loaded it and seen the flavor text for loading in the sewer period, the sewer level, and seeing like the, you know, if you continue from the screen it shows a police station or it shows a car park or it shows like labs and stuff to show where you are when you press continue so you can go you got a visual indicator without it bringing up the load screen of where you were on your last most recent autosave. And um, I never seen the artwork for the sewer. I never seen the flavor text for it. And it just said basically what you saw in the cutscene in the previous episode. Sherry looks at one of the monsters and goes, Daddy! And as that monster is colloquially known as Birkin, and the woman in the flavor text is referred to as Annette Birkin, and she's calling Sherry her daughter. That's me drawing the family tree with machine gun fire. Um, one can assume, with their detective skills, how that pans out. Anyway, no more Columbo moments for me. We're just gonna have to run with the sub ammo until we find the gun, the gunner, or the gunner frame for the the slurs, the slurs sixty. Because I think I might have missed it. If we have, we fucked. But it's okay because you can go through the rest of the game just using this, or just using whatever the fuck you want. I'm sure there's like a sub weapon only or like some really dumb bullshit like only playthrough out there you're just watching the idiots only playthrough so ah case in point okay <laughs> um apparently if you go into this room you can't back out of it so i'll lock the door behind me. oh now i see why well, i gotta go down here the first time I played through this game, Leon and Claire, I just ran down here going, what's over here? And I looked over the side of it if you hold it, and it goes fast. You can see it goes fast there. You've got to back out real quick. I just threw myself down here without saving and had to run to the next save point anyway. This area is quite small. Quite small. Small enough that I can run through it because I hate it. But Sherry, I take a, can you hear me? I take a lot of damage. That's quite the best. The best fucking playthrough on YouTube. Uh, anyway, that is really loud. Is it me? Is it me? It'll probably come out now and the recording is fine and I'm just like... Now? I'm gonna smell like shit? Literally. Yeah, poop joke. So, um... This section you can run through, there's only a few places you can go, but if you are just reckless, which I always am for this area, it fucks you for the last area, and a lot of the time, you can save it in the lab section after this, but like, stuff's hidden in the water, like items are hidden in the water, you can see this way of blocking. If you look, see if you look closely. Bada bing, bada boom. Forget about it. And you just got more with the pew pews. Although acid rounds, don't know if they're gonna work on poop monsters. A lot of acid in the poop. Poopy acid. 
I often miss a lot of stuff here because, you know, you're looking at the swamp ass water and sometimes I'll hide things in the water or like on the murk and I just miss a lot of stuff in this area. So that's why I don't spend a lot of time in it. Is there anything in here? Hidden doom level. Ooh, a monorail. Nice oh, tram. Cable car. A cable car. I was wrong twice. Monorail. Monorail. Mono means one, and rail means rail. Yeah. <laughs> Why did that scare me? Oh, hello, friend. Oh, he's a zombie. Who would have thought? Now normally I just jump down here, but actually, there's a locker. First of all, there's a locker on here. I'm gonna have fun mixing this later. <laughs> I'm just not gonna talk when the gun's firing. There's stuff in this room. There's stuff in this room. so many grenade rounds, why not? Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. Run away! Run away! If that didn't kill him, he can fuck himself. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck you, die. <laughs> These zombies, man, they get to a point where they just like... Hey, I'm just gonna survive like a nuke shoved up my asshole, and you're just like, just wasting ammo on these fucks. And then it's like, I remember the code to talk about coffee and emails. There are alarms. I don't know what going, what happened, but I hid the gun. And I can't find the chief. Owens. I can't stop coughing. Everyone's dying. Why won't you answer? It was you. You were Dio. You thought I was director Owens all along, but it was me, Dio. Yeah, let's make JoJo references. Yeah, so I just put about this much and like three grenades up these zombies assholes and a hand grenade and two knives but sure a hundred rounds <laughs> this is where we find I missed a load of shit anyway everyone's screaming at me no I cleared it out but... <laughs> now you can skip that area and it would have actually been better for me I thought the locker had something more important like the gun frame or a pouch in Sherry I told Huh? Here until my work is done. That's what you always say. Sherry? Why didn't you stay in the house? Forever it was point safe there. For the dissertation on why Annette's a hey, bitch. Sherry! Uh, I was scared. Those things were everywhere and... You should have called the police. That's what we taught you. I did, but nobody came and you didn't answer your phone, so... Sherry, uh, I don't have time for this. Uh, <sighs> Oh no. Sherry! Sherry, I'm coming! Hold on, Sherry. I'll be right there. So, what you're seeing here is a mother whose response to her child saying there's a fucking cataclysmic zombie event is you should have called the police. The police are zombies too. I don't give a fuck, stop bothering me, go into the literal trash heap. Like, literal trash heap here, like, man, she literally, she's locked her kid, who has fallen sick, in a dumpster, saying you shouldn't have left the home, 
I'm not even gonna attempt to like help now. Bye. Who does that, man? Ooh, the gun. I need the gun. I'm going to use this pistol for now. There's probably someone saying the power level is not as good. But I'm like, I, I don't know, man. And that, that's... Uh, I have a story about that voice I just used. The voice of... <laughs> that's that's my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! player. I call it the Yu-Gi-Oh! player um, thing. Because every, every time the song says to me, I say it every time. Find the plugs, yeah. So this is horrible. This is what this is one of the reasons I hate this area. Every time someone says to me as a kid they used to like Yu-Gi-Oh, I said the only thing I know about Yu-Gi-Oh is the anime where they're like, <laughs> you activated my trap card <laughs> and they're just like, Oh man, that's just so on the nose it hurts. Please stop mocking me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why I'm such a prick sometimes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm sure I would actually unironically love it if I was actually playing it. Much like when I tried to get into Magic the Gathering, which is literally like... I tried for all of 30 seconds. And, um... The Pokemon trading card game. But then found out my old Pokemon cards have deliberately been scaled down over time because they want you to buy new cards, so... Turns out... I had a good deck, like, five... 10, oh, it's too many years ago. We pulled a cube. Look, a platform. Yeah, so, like, I can't get behind Annette Birkin in any guise. She seems, in a way, worse than William Birkin, and William Birkin is a lot... In, I call it Birkin. Birkin. She's a logical at best, a twat at worst. I required for cable car entry. Because you're talking about somebody who willingly took a large grant from a massive pharmaceuticals company to continue to test bioweapons, then was shocked and confused when the man came around and said, yo, so can I have your bioweapon? <laughs> like, you do know how corporation and, like, employment works, right? And intellectual property? That's a note saying, hey, dumbass, if you didn't know, the safe up here has, like, the combination literally written on the side. And it's like, I saw it the first playthrough. A lot of people miss it, and I'm like, why were you just walking around like this, staring at the wall? A door. Let's touch the door. The door works. That's annoying. So this man has the blue herb. I don't think he gets up. I've snuck around him before and got it. And other times I think I've woken him up, or he wakes up after a certain phase. So, 2 left, 12 right, 8 left. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. <laughs> 8, right? 8. Why am I asking as if it's a stream? I really need to get into streaming. Look, it's the thing! We needed this. I'm waiting for this. So we can load this. It loaded it with the wrong. Oh no, it loaded it with the right. I was like, oh. So we're either just going to walk into the zombie's loving embrace. Do I even need it? I can't remember. I'm so inaccurate with my memory. Oh, I walked by the map. Oh. Blue herbs stop poisoning. It's the sewers, so guess what happened? Big poison. So yeah, like, um, Birkin is a little more understanding because, you know, he's like the creative content producer. And then the record label's coming in and saying, Yo, dog, you actually we own everything that you just made now because intellectual property rights, you really need to read the uh, stuff. Also, we have gun. 
Also, a private individual can't just walk around with a fucking bioweapon. <laughs> you know, like, um, we're talking about it as if it's like, oh, it's so unfair. It's like, same reason that you can't just go, well, I found this yellow cake uranium, <laughs> so it's mine. It's like, yes, sir, but sir, can you... We don't want a random civilian walking around with this shit. Look, this guy. You come through here enough time to not deal with the bar bar bar. Seriously. <laughs> and that's a high power round. Hello. I wasted a high power round, I'm sorry. So these two are now dead. D E D dead. So you know they're not going to be a problem in the future, which is good. Because you go through here, and you go through here, and you go through here, and this guy gets up after a while, but it's just like, he doesn't get up right now. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. I just know that I should pull this lever so that whenever I do go through. And there's a hand grenade down here. Well, there normally is a hand grenade. forget which way I'm supposed to be going first because you go one way it's harder like this way now takes me oh well mm, I can at least mm, mm. oh yeah this one is there a jump scare zombie no jump scare zombie it will later be jump scare zombie they seem to be getting me more lately. I think it's something to do with the sound balancing of the new speakers I'm using, but they're really like prominent in the sound mix. You know, before they just like, roar, and now they're like, roar, and you're like, oh, fuck it. I know it's a waste of high power rounds. So. Standard zombies cause me a lot of trouble for some reason. Later, gotta go down here to get a load of the keys. I got. Ooh. Oh no. Oh. Fuck you. Fucking internet. Ugh. This happens, man, so often. Yeah, I connected. Great. Glad you that you on the ball with the pausing there. Yeah, so like I was saying. Gotta go down there. I don't want to go down there right now because I'm lazy and also you need like a load of space because you're going to be picking up a gun and pick... Oh, I should put this away. What the fuck am I thinking? Uh, and you're going to be picking up a load of key items. So you don't want to go down there and deal with a load of shit just to go, oh, I can't pick... You know, Example, there's just another key right here. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, there's keys. There's keys everywhere in this place. It's the biggest problem with this area. It's Birkin. Not Birkin, broken. What a waste of footwork. <sighs> so, yeah. I don't want to go down there right now, it's not a good time, it's not an optimal time. Is Zambi Bambo that's going to open up? No. Interesting. Let's try down here. Either way, we're going to have to deal with Zambi Bambo. Ah, like... uh, yeah, okay. Oh, he stunned me. Fuck you. Oh. Fuck you. 
Crab range is cool. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? The grab range is really wide. Even if you pass on his left, he sometimes manages to grab you even though he's swinging with his right throw move. The frames are just bullshit. <laughs> like, I just hate it. Those monsters are the reason that I hate the sewer levels. They're loud, they're annoying, they follow you around. They, you kill them and they just resurrect anyway. I've got a lot of high power rounds, but I'm nervous now. This fuck wakes up in a very tight environment, it's really annoying. I need to get the thing. Do I need to get the thing? What is it? If it's roll film, I'm gonna get. I wanna fucking scream. Fucking roll film. Hey, you thought I was an important thing, but it was me, roll film. Yeah. Oh, no. I refuse. Fuck you. This guy is an asshole. He's not waking up. I bet you the moment I unlock the door. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Fuck you. Conga line. Conga zombie. Oh, he's immune to fragmentation grenades. Great. Oh, and then there's this asshole. This game's dumb. This is fucking dumb. This is why I hate this area. This fucks. Oh, fuck. No. fuck you. Get out of my house. you're a problem. This, like, this area you don't go through it a lot, but it's just like, if there's that many, uh, <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to start running from place to place, because there'll probably be a guy in here, there'll probably be a guy in there, you know, you're just going to burst through and get stomped by another guy, you know. And I can literally hear one of them waking up again. Look how many acid rounds I fucking have. We're just going to... Mm, I heard one of them. <laughs> For fuck's sake. See what I mean? That's bullshit. You're telling me zombies know to stand in door frames? Fuck you. Man, I'm just gonna stand in the door frame like a camping asshole. Dick. I'm just triggered. I'm just triggered. Because, like... Oh yeah, zombies predation technique is to stand here and just go, Oh, I'm just waiting for a guy to pass through. Oh, yeah, I just, uh, fuck you. <laughs> like, I call bullshit on that. Bullshit. You're all trash tier. I fired one round. Oh. So you see this, so, you see I've cleared out this area, it goes to middle, it goes to lower water we. what's in lower water we? oh I guess you unlock that and you can go back through that area, I guess, oh then you can drop down to here, so unless it's got some item down there, we're just going to check. They're blundering around fucking dark areas with these dicks. Because, you know, they don't just throw a good knife away and shit, so. Oh, well, that's it. Cool! <laughs> I got a knife. Too bad, I got everything out of this area. So you know that you can take this now, because it's not like you have to loop through here again. Oh, fuck's sake. Look at this crap. It's probably crazy. Three shots to the head. Three shots to the fucking head. 
four shots to the head. And I'm being quite proactive with like the the firing and like being very aggressive, which is not the survival horror way all of the time. But like God damn the amount of resources. You can see that I'm actually overflowing all of the time with resources by being like my ammo. So I don't need to worry. For now, I don't need to worry. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Okay. So we can throw this out, you see it's got a little tick. Bye bye. And we can have this, which is Fucking dumb, why did I pick that up? And here's a flyer that tells you the place I opened already. Z S Z F. This is where you loop around back to the uh, police station. If you were wondering. It looks familiar. Oh, it won't look familiar yet because I have to unlock this area. Something. Oh yeah, that's the ammo. We'll come. We'll be coming back. So. The biggest enemy is the Tamil Mark. Oh, can't use this yet. It's really picky. For the first few things, I was like, "Why isn't it accepting my badge?" It doesn't accept the badge if you've got the USB thing stuck out. So you have to do this. Then you use it. And it gives you the suppressor. This. Just makes it less muzzle kickback. Kickback! Oh. Look at this terrible inventory management. Ah. I don't really, you don't really need this now. Like, I've gotten everything, I think. Oh boy. I don't know. But it's like, to some degree, it's like, I don't think I'm gonna give a shit if I leave it there. But like, yeah, there's the Birkin fight over there, for stage one. Then you go up here, and you're back where you were before. And you can literally go back to the police station do a bunch of other stuff. There is a secret hidden thing which gets you a special thing for the, this weapon or for Leon's uh, desert, the lightning hawk because it's not a desert eagle. Um, and you can do that, but eh, I'm pretty sure. Well, Mr. X gets killed in Claire's campaign, but I don't know. In Leon's, if you go back out there, Mr. X is still around causing problems. Marvin's fucking sat back down again. <laughs> okay, it was worth it for that. It was worth it for that. So, um, you can see if you don't kill Marvin, he resets and goes and sits back down and goes, oh, just gonna have a nice little rest. Oh, good old Marvin. Reason I didn't kill Marvin, actually, was not because of that. I just feel bad. <clears throat> Literally, the only reason is I feel bad. And I'm just gonna save it, because we had a problem before, didn't we? where I fucked up, or I f the game froze, and that could really fuck up my playthrough at the wrong period. Um, 